Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Nila. Today I am here with you with another very interesting and important video related to abroad opportunities. So today I am going to discuss about an opportunity that has been recently advertised by National University of Singapore. So I am talking about internship and research immersion in Singapore which is also abbreviated as IRIS and uh, since it is happening in, Sing uh, in National University of Singapore so over here at the rate of NUS has also been written. So in this particular video let me just quickly uh, tell you I would be talking about uh, how you can uh, fill the application form, what are the prerequisites that means what things or what documents you would be required to submit over here. Apart from that uh, uh, what is the fellowship grant, what else would you be getting over here, what you can expect. So everything I would be discussing apart from that I would also be talking about the deadlines that are related to this particular program. So before beginning uh, let, let me just quickly tell you that uh, this is uh, the, uh, the website link and I would be sharing it in the description section. So you can directly click on it and come to this page. So now uh, scrolling down so there are multiple tabs over here program application and meet our faculty members. So first of all, let us quickly see what is uh, uh, mentioned in this program. So over here, students will be mentored by NUS dedicated faculty upon joining their labs or research groups. So one thing is clear that you would be associated with the faculty members of NUS and they would be mentoring you for your research program. Additionally, students would have also the opportunity to contribute to ongoing projects work in world class uh, facilities. Obviously, NUS is a world class institution. So you would get a chance to work closely with the uh, faculty members of NUS. Okay. Now understand this uh, that this fully funded program is lasting for two to three months. Now the duration over here has been specified and it welcomes exceptional undergraduate as well as masters students from all fields across ASEAN and around the world. It offers an immersive research experience and a unique glimpse into graduate studies at one of the top universities of the world. So uh, undergrad as well as master's students can apply over here and uh, uh, a huge uh, variety of opportunities are available that means different domains uh, are open for applying. So I would be showing you that as well. So you can visit the NUS graduate school website for full program details but uh, for us, uh, more than uh, enough has been mentioned on this web page also. So now let us move on to the program features. So you can see, uh, yeah, over here. So two months of intensive research experience with exposure to the state of art uh, facility. So this is obviously clear. Now uh, you would be closely mentored by NUS faculty. This also is clear. After you complete the course, a certificate of completion will be issued by NUS graduate school at the end of the program. Also. Uh, about the stipend that you would be getting so Singaporean dollar 1200 per month would you would be getting apart from that you would also be getting uh, SGD 600 travel allowances apart from that complimentary on campus accommodation would also be provided to you so you do not have to pay anything for the accommodation that is a big relief additionally you would be getting stipend and travel allowances also so next a program schedule if I talk about the deadlines so the application is started from 15th of December 2025 and it will be ending on 15th of January 2026 right the program duration is from May to July 2026 so uh, it would be starting from May and it will be ending on in July one more important aspect over here is that there are uh, two calls simultaneously that means the program would again open from August to October 2026 so you have to specify while filling your, the application form you have to specify that for which batch are you actually applying application deadline is uh, uh, 15th of January as I have already said and release of application outcome that means your results would be in the end of March now there will be two IRS and US intakes this is what I just told you and you while filling the application you have to uh, specify your preferred times okay now uh, so this is the selection criteria basically academic excellence passion and diversity so it would be uh, taken care that uh, people from all the countries are uh, accepted so academic excellence and apart from academic excellence and passion diversity is also playing a role now talking about application that means what is the eligibility criteria 
so before starting uh, starting to discuss about the eligibility criteria and what are the application materials that you would require over here let me just tell you about a very very uh, important uh, thing the program that we have introduced so this is the uh, voucher of udan program that has been recently introduced by samadhan life sciences so in this udan program we are offering a number of services to the students who want to pursue their research their masters or their phd abroad so we offer general consultation services uh, i mean uh, amongst the multiple services that we offer one is general consultation so in this general consultation session if you, even if you are applying for a phd program in india or abroad or you want to apply for an internship program uh, abroad or in india so you can ask your queries related to uh, the application process and how you can make your uh, application in a better way all these things so you would be understanding that uh, there are uh, numerous queries when a, when an individual wants to apply to abroad or to indian uh, universities at different levels so advice on international university applications as well as indian university applications document preparation as uh, in this irs iris also so there are uh, numerous documents that you would be requiring for example statement of purpose letter of motivation cv so these are the things generally that are required uh, while you are applying abroad so we have a uh, numerous mentors that are working in different uh, parts of the world so your documents would be uh, sent to those people depending upon which area or depending upon which country you are applying to so your documents are sent to those people and they check uh, your documents and they will be reverting back so document preparation is an important service that we provide apart from that if you are uh, successful in achieving an interview call we can also uh, organize a mock interview for you so that uh, you can be well prepared so uh, the charges are very nominal uh, so if i talk about the general consultation service the charges are only 299 rupees for 45 minutes so this is the general consultation charge if you are interested obviously you can book so how you can book uh, with us so this is the contact detail 8299134528 and this is the email id also uh, through which you can uh, schedule your call uh, but i would prefer that you take up uh, this particular number it would be a speedy and a convenient method so you can contact with us on this and you can uh, tell us about the requirement and we can schedule your uh, thing of course different services uh, have different uh, charges but this charge that has been mentioned over here is specifically for general consultation services okay so apart from that now let me just come back to the program that we were discussing eligibility criteria over here is that minimum gpa of 3.5 out of 4 you should be enrolled now this is an important thing you should be enrolled full time in a degree granting program having completed at least the first two years of ug degree program or being in the first year as a master student so if you are in the master's program first year you have to be in the first year and if you are in the ug program then at least two years first two years you have you should be completing that okay now a genuine interest in the academic research is essential and must maintain their student status throughout the iris period now what are the uh, materials that are you that you would be requiring over here a transmit transcript obviously detailed cv personal statement two letters of recommendation now these are the things that you would be required to submit how to apply now this is the entire process of applying it is a very simple and also uh, you have an application guide that you can click over here and there is an apply here button so when you are ready with the, uh, the, doc the documents and when you are ready with everything you can click over here on the apply here button and start your document and start your uh, application process so you can read out this apart from that one more important thing is that i would specifically encourage all of you to check out the projects over here so list of projects has been mentioned over here if you click on the <coughs> sorry if you click on the list of the projects so there are number of projects i mean it is varying from uh, uh, communication to geography to management to biomedical to uh, bioengineering things like that architecture so you can see that so over here from uh, com after completion of a you can see biomedical engineering biomedical engineering and again chemical and bio uh, molecular engineering chemical and biomolecular engineering so there are huge number of projects that are available depending upon uh, which project you want to take part and uh, the name of the scientist has also been mentioned so uh, you have to choose properly choose uh, the mentor and the project that you want to work under 
so for applicants understand mentor allocation process so this is an important thing as i said that you will have to choose the mentor and you will have to choose the lab that you want to work in so this is about the entire process i hope uh, you got a clear idea about how you can apply apart from that uh, if you have any queries obviously you can click on the application guide and you can uh, move forward so this was about it uh, this there is a FAQ section also uh, generally your queries can be addressed by this section only and still if you have any queries obviously you can uh, connect with them contact them on this uh, particular mail id so hopefully you would have got a clear idea so that that's the end of this particular video thank you for watching have a good day